So we are here at the Agogoloshi Electronic Wisdom site. Indeed, the biggest electronic wisdom site in Africa, I'd say. Um, this is where electronic waste television sets, computers, microwaves, refrigerators from most developed countries end up. Then you find kids, some as young as five, six, seven, eight, coming here to dismantle, to break, open uh, these electronic waste just to salvage metal such as copper. They sell these things to buy food, they use some of the money to buy food, and they give some money to their parents. And, um, some would use part of the money uh, to buy whatever they need to go to school. The boys who are engaged in the burning inhale the fumes that come out of it and that bioaccumulate certain hard toxics in their body. In our bid to ascertain that impact, we conducted the blood analysis of about 49 of these recyclers. The results revealed that the accumulation of lead in these boys are above the required standards, which is health threatening. Environmentally, we also have within the same vicinity where this e-waste recycling is taking place, people also growing vegetables. The point is, the smoke that swirls within the atmosphere eventually settles on these cabbages and the green peppers and the, all the vegetables that are grown there. This dump site has been going for uh, the last 13 years or so. It used to be an amazing wetland, beautiful paradise, lush green vegetation, um, a river and a lagoon meandering their way into the sea. But now that is not the case. The river that you can see here, the river Odor is dead, meaning no living organism lives in this particular river. The soils are full of uh, deaths and deaths beneath with heavy metals, not just heavy metals, but also plastics uh, from computers, televisions, and refrigerators. And so much of all this toxic uh, material would end up in the sea because of the water bodies here. <laughs> 